Welcome to Listen by Jean Ginsberg. This audio experience and podcast is all about social media, digital marketing, entrepreneurship, and interviews with top entrepreneurs in the digital and social space. I am your host, Jean Ginsberg, digital marketing expert, number one best selling author, and award winning entrepreneur. I will be sharing with you strategies, tips, and tactics on how to grow your business and your social media following. Thanks for listening. Hey everyone, Jean Ginsberg here on, an episode, on another episode of Listen by Jean Ginsberg. I'm very excited because I have a special guest today, Mike Sirak. How are you? Doing great, Jean. Thanks for having me. Yeah, very excited. Love to jump in and hear more about your story. Uh, we get connected through David Metzler's podcast. And so I've been on his podcast and no, actually, sorry. He was on my podcast like a few months ago. And so that's how we get connected. And I would love to sh uh, just learn more about what you're up to. So yeah, do you want to start with your background? Yeah. So I run a large division for Nations Lending, which is a home loan company. And I woke up one morning and I like what I do, but I found out that I'm really not doing like home loans and mortgages every day. I'm building people. And right. so I've started to really become aware of that. And I started to investigate more and I started realizing, wait a minute, um, maybe I need to like, sh like really start focusing on what I'm doing every day. And so I, I came to find out that the business runs based on how well you build your people and the business lasts based on how well you build your people. So I started thinking about that and, and doing some research on it and really focusing on that. And what I found at, when doing that, I found some people like Grant Cardone and some other mentors that I have and started immersing myself in their content. And uh, when that happened, I started at 40 some years old growing again. You know, I felt like I got stagnant and stale, so to speak, and uh, kind of caged up. I, I, the only way I can really describe it is like, I have, feel like I have an animal inside of me and I was caged up for so long because I was concerned with what people thought and maybe like an introvert and I'm normally an extrovert. And so, um, in that, you know, in that process, I've gotten like some validation to be the animal again, and it's a great freeing feeling. And I'm writing a book. It's getting ready to come out actually, uh, as this podcast is dropping and it's called Rocket Fuel. And I'm just fired up, man, helping people and, and, uh, and consulting and, and doing performance coaching as well as the mortgage part of it. That's amazing. Yeah, it's uh, so true. It's like sometimes we just like get stagnant in what we do. And then like it takes, takes you know, maybe someone like a Grant Cardone to push you out of that little <laughs> cocoon that you have. I, I follow Grant Cardone too, and I follow a lot of his content. I, I love what he's talking about. And I've read a lot of his book, a few of his books. Uh, love 10x that's one of my favorite books i think i actually reread it once a quarter now because it's been such like an amazing experience for me and i i just love going back through it and kind of picking up little tidbits every single time yeah. so, so tell us about your current um so you're an entrepreneur so you're telling us about your, your business or what you're doing currently so the mortgage thing is going and then uh basically we try to look at things that align with our business as we add other different flows and one thing that we started um i have a what are you made of podcast that is more for attention and promotion rather than monetizing directly. And so we've done that. And I met a lot of great people doing that show and uh, the people building company that we opened, it's called people building Inc is all around designing programs and systems and, and, and events that build people mm -hmm. and express the importance of building people in business. And so that's something that we're focused on right now. We're really trying to develop some state of the art um, programs for that along with apps that I've never been in the tech space before, but now I'm excited because I got in this situation where um, I met a guy that is uh, basically a connector between the tech world and the uh, entrepreneurial visionary world. Because mm -hmm. a lot of entrepreneurs and visionaries do not have that tech background and they have no idea where to start. So I met a great guy there and I've partnered up with him to develop some things. So we have a lot of things on our plate I'm excited about. It takes patience. Um, Gene, one thing that I'm learning a lot is that I'm an impatient person and I have to redirect that impatience towards action, but be patient with results. Mm -hmm. And, uh, because sometimes I go crazy with things not going as fast as I want them as far as the results. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're like, I'm inching towards where I need to go and progressing, that's what matters. 
Absolutely. So let's dig a little bit deeper. You mentioned you're building people. So what is that? Well, building out people. What does that in, entail for business? So I, just to give you a little background on that part, I, uh, I grew up around a lot of broken people in my life, broken mindsets, but broken people like alcohol, drug addicts, mm -hmm. mentally, you know, uh, troubled people. Um, you know, I came from a broken home. I don't remember my parents ever being together. And I dealt with a lot of conflict with child support and custody battles and step parents fighting. It was a, it was a mess and not a, not a conducive to happiness as, right. as a child. And of course I could have had it worse, but that, that's not the point. The point is of what I went through and then how I, as a kid, um, you know, when, when I was 11, after living with my dad for three years, after going through some emotional and tr uh, psychological abuse, I decided to get out of that environment and get into a better one at my mom's, which is more happy and not well off though. My dad had money, he had a great business. He was my hero actually. He had a masonry business and uh, big forearms and rough hands and he used to work hard and, and I knew that and I always looked up to him for that. And he always used to carry this wad of $100 bills around in his pocket and flash it around and it had a rubber band around it. And when I, one day when he got court papers and said I wanted to move back with my mom, which I hadn't told him until he got served because I was scared. Um, at that moment, I'm sure he was, uh, had his pride hurt. He was disappointed and, and s like saddened. And he asked me and confirmed that that was the case that I really wanted to do that. And when I did that, he took that wad of hundred dollar bills out and he reminded me my mom didn't have it that well. And am I sure that I want to leave a place where I had everything I wanted or needed right. to go to another, you know? So I said, yes. And he took a hundred dollar bill crumpled up and threw it at me and said, well, then here, you're going to need this when you're living on the streets with your mother one day. And so that was when I was 11 for 30 some years, I've been riding off of that and using that as fuel. Cause I'm not going to ever let him win to think, that he won with that comment, despite the fact whether he just said it out of emotion or whatever, that doesn't matter because I don't hold any grudges. I'm just using as fuel. Right. And the other thing I thought about at that moment as a kid is that I can help people because I'm strong. My mom always told me that I was a leader before I was even a leader or knew what the word leader was. And I was going to be a role model to people that went through something like this and show them that you could be great. This podcast is brought to you by the Digital Marketing Method Monthly Group Coaching Program, your methodology for growing your business and your social media following. Join me and my group of supportive entrepreneurs and learn how you can grow your business and your social media following, where we cover topics such as Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, email marketing, and so much more. Go to dmgroup.online, dmgroup online. So about two years ago, I realized what I'd been like really fueling off of and I became aware of it. And once you become aware of something and you can actually like throw gasoline or rocket fuel on it and bottle it and share it with other people, that's when this concept came about. And it's just evolved into something unbelievable. And I just can't wait to continue to help really to basically tell companies, first of all, your people are important. They're the ones that make your success. They make you last or not last. And if you can find their strengths and throw rocket fuel on their strengths and their weaknesses, find out if their weaknesses are able to be developed or not, and really focus on those things and spend a, a, a good amount of time, not just running the business, but also on the people. Mm -hmm. um, that's what we're all about. So you help uh, companies, entrepreneurs, corporations with building out their people. Yes. Yes. Building out their people and, and not only not like one-on-one -on -one necessarily, but more group and applications and programs. And is it more just like changing their mindset or high performance? Like what would you, how would you describe it? That that's part of it. That's a huge part of it, but that's more to that. I mean, we look at leadership abilities. We look at uh, communication, emotional response, and of course mindset and understanding that, you know, what we're capable of and how our belief system has limited all of us um, from over the years and from people that, you know, when we're Gene around people that, um, emotionally are not intelligent or emotionally in control. And they're really like upset a lot. A lot of times we start to look at ourselves and, and ask if we're doing something wrong. Right. And when really it's, they're just not rational at that moment. And then we start to introvert ourselves. And that's what happened to me. I, I kind of got caged up after a while. And so uh, we got to really let people understand that, look, you don't need to do a self-assessment of yourself if the person you're doing it because of was in a, in a bad spot. Right. 
Now we all need to look at ourselves and see if we can be better when, when you're talking to rational people that are in a good spot and they're coming to you for constructive, you know, uh, advice or what have you. But there's, there's a problem with people starting to pull back and not be themselves when they're around the wrong frame of mind people. Absolutely. So we talk a lot about that as well. Yeah. I mean, I can totally understand that because having the right people and having the right mindset of the, of the people that are working for you or working in your organization is just so critical, right? Because that really what makes or breaks your organization, right? Like if you're not, if you right. don't have the right people with the right mindset, then, then you're not really probably performing well as an organization overall. So that's great yep. that you're working on something like that. So tell us about the book. So the book's called Rocket Fuel. I started it about a year and a half ago and it's, Basically, the, you know, some stories and anecdotes from my life and how I've implemented turning setbacks, letdowns, difficulties, people, certain people, right. and converted them in, into fuel. Not just fuel, but I say rocket fuel um, because rocket fuel is the only thing I know that can get you into outer space for some symbolic reasons or purposes here. And when you get into outer space, you're away from gravity mm-hmm. and gravitational pull and suppressors and things that just weigh you down and you know, I really like to take this, these, these, these bad things, these toxic things like rocket fuels toxic until it's used and store it in my tank instead of my trunk because that weighs you down. So I try to like really like use this imagery with people and really ride on this rocket fuel movement. So this book's about the stories of that and understanding that proactively you need to make sure that you're focused on turning anything that comes your way that stops you into fuel and expect things like that to happen so that you're not shocked when it happens and get stuck in a, in a paralysis. And if you can get this concept, your life's never the same because you'll blow past other people that get paralyzed by setbacks. Mm-hmm. And so that's what it's all about. And it's really powerful. It's worked in my life. Matter of fact, right before I got on this call, I got a, I got a phone call that's a pretty huge setback. Mm-hmm. And I already know, like it hit me for a second and a trigger hits my mind. Like, wait a minute, this is bad, but I know I've been through worse. And this is going to be fuel and I'm going to rock it out of this. And I'm going to surround my team that that's going to hear this news shortly about an employee. They're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to prepare them. And I've already done that as well. And we're going to rocket fuel a rocket, you know, ship out of this stuff. And that's important to understand. Um, I don't just talk about it. I actually live it. Mm-hmm. No, that's fantastic. I mean, yes, we all have setbacks, but it's how we react, react to those setbacks is, is the way we live our lives and the way that we are high performing, right? Instead of just breaking down, we're like, okay, this is, this is something I've already lived and this is something that's not the worst, right? Right. <laughs> so it's about right. how you react to it. So that's great. And when is the book coming out? Um, it's on pre-sale right now, actually. Um, and it's, the official launch date is coming up here very soon in February. February 7th. Um, but right now you can get it at mikecrock.com forward slash book. That's uh, Mike C. Rock with no K, C-R-O-C.com forward slash book. That's amazing. That's fantastic. I can't wait to read it. I'm actually after this, after this recording, we're, I'm going to go check it out. Um, and uh, yeah, because I, I mean, I love reading these stories about people who, you know, grew up in a certain way and just really push themselves to become much high performing because I mean we a lot of times you know our childhoods weren't always the best and I I went through that kind of some something similar when I was growing up and it's like but that didn't hold me back from my experience or being where I am now Uh, and I love how you're using that to really you know fuel yourself and move yourself and push yourself forward so that's amazing thank you Um, so what are some initiatives that you guys are currently working on um, besides the book uh, well, we have some interactive programs that we're putting, getting ready to put out. Um, one is on time management and efficiency. A lot of loan officers right now do not need help finding more business because rates are so low. Mm-hmm. So now it's more about, okay, what, what can we do to focus uh, the attention on not working yourself to death, having time for your family, but still building your business. And we have ways to do that. And we're putting that in an interactive program. We also have a uh, interactive sales call or morning call that we're going to be putting together. Um, it's going to be like a 9 a.m. call for 20 minutes, five days a week to get everybody pumped up into a culture that right. they may not have at their, at their company. Yeah. And it's, you know, a lot of people are on their own or they just don't have that support that we have in our group. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's very selfish to just leave it in our own little world. So I want yeah. to spread that out to people. And then finally, we have a tech product that we're working on right now that I can't release a lot of information on, but it's going to have a big impact on people building and, um, in the business world and, 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 
consulting. I don't want to say too much, but that's, that's okay. basically the well, things that's, that we're working on. There's a lot of new initiatives going on. I can't wait to hear, hear and see all about them. You know, besides the book, you're like, wow, there's just a lot of things going on. And I love the fact that you're talking about balance, right? Because I mean, that's part of, um, it's not just about driving all the time, but also having time for family and hobbies or whatever it is that you like to do. So yeah, uh, that's so important. Sometimes we forget that as entrepreneurs. So that's, uh, that's great. Um, so usually I ask uh, this uh, one question at the end, which I, uh, um, is a kind of an open-ended question. So uh, what is your prediction for the industry? And that could be specifically your industry. It could be uh, self-driving cars, AI, terraforming Mars. You decide <laughs> what the prediction is. <laughs> Well, I, I can tell you that with COVID and everything that's happened, we've seen a big transformation to online, of obviously, and also communication via Zoom, which is a big difference. And I think that what it's allowed me to do is meet a lot more people, you know, even despite the, um, the normalcy that we used to have. Geographically, it was still difficult to meet people from all over the country, all over the world. I just got off the phone with someone that's from Poland today. Mm-hmm. Um, I spoke to someone in the UK today. And I don't think that would really have happened. So going forward, I think that there's a lot more opportunity for great relationships to be built, yeah. not just in business, but in general. And networking can be done via like global. And I think that's really powerful. So to me, again, COVID happened. I, I hate that there was loss of life or anybody that lost someone, but there's always something good that comes from setbacks. And right. uh, I'm just prepared to look for that. And I think that's the, the biggest thing is going to be the, the potential relationships that are going to be created through all this. Yeah. I mean, like you and I, right. We, we got connected and now we're online talking through a zoom call and uh, recording this podcast. So that's, I probably would have never met you if it wasn't yep. for, uh, for the way things have transpired. So yeah, always a silver lining, right? I mean, it is uh, a very unfortunate of what happened with the, with the virus, but at the same time things changed. And so there's silver lining with the changes. So awesome. Any last words that you want to share before we wrap up? Yeah, go get the book, guys. I need your support because I, you know, I have a big, big vision for this to, to reach millions and millions of people with this movement, Rocket Fuel. And I, I'm not going to quit till it does, but it would make it a whole lot easier if you guys go buy the book and help me out and uh, spread it to your friends, family, and coworkers. Because uh, I promise you, I put the, the effort and time and attention into this to change lives, and it will. So MikeCrock.com forward slash book. And Gene, thank you so much for yeah. allowing me to come on and share today. Thank you. That's been great. Thank you for being here. I loved hearing your story and I can't wait for the book and very excited about that. Thank you.